this is a most savory dish that I put together that consisted of sprouted pinto beans, sprouted pinto beans, jasmine rice, and greens. This is my new dish of emphasis. This is my new dish of emphasis where I'm combining cooked elements with raw elements. Cooked elements with raw elements. So the reason I'm doing that is I'm combining health and flavor in one mix. And the way it works is this. The greens, the green leaves, and the herbal greens are the principal dietary item that I find is the most beneficial. The green leaves and the herbal greens and roots, those are going to be what you want to do. And let's go ahead and lump in cabbage with that. I know the cabbage is red, but whether it's red cabbage, green cabbage, or what have you, right? And your onions, which is part of your roots, right? Your greens, those are going to be the things that you'll want to consume when we're talking about what I consume. Those are the things that I emphasize. But at the same time, I want to have a little bit of flavor that is added in other ways, in the way of the right type of uh, rice, in this case, the jasmine rice or basmati rice. And Kroger's had a great uh, uh, offering when we're talking about this brand called Riceland for $2.50. Riceland, $2.50, it was non-GMO. When I saw non-GMO rice for $2.50, I said, it's time to try this out. And so if you've seen my earlier videos on cooking technique, cooking technique, right? The basic techniques I use in those videos is what was used to produce the cooked portion of this meal. And I have to say, it's absolutely savory, absolutely scrumptious. And the way that the residual heat, because you don't cook the greens with the cooked portion, you let the cooked portion settle for a little bit, and then you pour it on top of the greens so the residual heat then permeates into the, the, the idle greens, the greens at idle, right? So that you can unlock more nutrients out of the greens without destroying beneficial enzymes and nutrients in the greens. Because too much heat, heat at the wrong level, will absolutely reduce the nutrient profile of your greens and many of your vegetables, right? So when I'm cooking, I primarily emphasize those ingredients during the cooking phase that can take the heat. If you can't take the heat, you know, as they say. So things like some of these beans, uh, some of the harder, harder uh, vegetables, the harder vegetables, and roots. Roots such as onions and garlic, right? Or chopped ginger or chopped turmeric, right? Sesame seeds and a variety of seeds, right? They can take the heat. You can toast rice, toast that rice. That's gonna unlock more flavor profile in that rice, right? And then as you use that technique of adding liquid into that pot, right? That liquid is gonna to start to unlock more from those hard vegetables and those uh, hard beans, if you add beans at that stage, right? But I actually added the beans at a later stage and let the whole thing simmer. And again, there is the video that's titled Let's Cook that shows that. But I just wanted to take a moment to do a, um, a, a deep dive into this a bit. And if you found this information useful, Feel free to like the video, leave a comment if you have more questions, and I thank you for joining me on this journey of culinary taste and excellence in nutrition and improving our life profiles through proper cooking, diet, and eating. I will see you on the other side, and I wish you well. Thank you.